tonight at 7. Fayette County students return to school tomorrow. Danielle Miskell joins us now in the newsroom after speaking with the district superintendent about the new school year ahead. Danielle. Yes, so starting around 7 a.m., school buses will start uh, getting going and the students will be back in class for their first day. You know, for the past previous years, there has been a heavy emphasis on precautions around mitigating the spread of COVID, but this year, Superintendent Dr. Demetrius Lakin says that he, quotes, is hoping for a normal year and that they're going to be shifting their focus to new initiatives. Everyone's excited to have our kids back in school. And so it's a school building just isn't quite the same without the kids there. It's a fresh new school year. NTI days are reset, and Superintendent Dr. Demetrius Ligon says Bay County Schools can now focus on its new strategic plan called A New Way Forward. First initiative being student success, second initiative um, being um, equity, diversity, inclusion, and belonging. And also placing an emphasis on students and teachers' mental health. One of the things we realized during the pandemic is so many of our students have some social emotional needs that they were. Um, needing help with, and we did not pay as much attention to our staff who also needed support. One notable change is that food costs increased by 14%, and it affects only 36 schools in the district. As for the rest... Due to the, um, the majority of the students being um, qualifying for free and reduced lunch, 100% of the students eat for free. And so that's at 49 of our 70. As for mitigating the spread of COVID-19, Dr. Ligon says they're sticking to their either way is okay policy. We're providing masks, hand sanitizer, and all of the other precautions that are um, necessary. The outbreak of monkeypox has some parents concerned, but Dr. Ligon's has some news of relief. Um, you don't get it from shaking hands or from um, fist bumping, and so we're much less likely to have it spread at the school. In terms of staffing shortages, Dr. Lakin says they're fortunate. All bus routes are covered, and school resource officer positions have a three-year plan. To ensure by the end of three years to have at least one full-time police officer at every single one of our campuses. So Dr. Lakin says that the district is still looking to fill what he calls their high needs positions. That's math and science teaching positions at the high school level, as well as special education. If you're interested in applying for those positions, head to our website. I'll have that linked up for you. Dr. Lakin says that some of those positions will actually receive additional stipends because they're difficult to fill. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Danielle Miskell, Fox 56 News.